We pity your pathetic dependence on this web video for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. The operator at Fukushima Daiichi says it will remove leaky, leaky equipment designed to treat radioactive water. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can compose myself after that. Last month, TEPCO detected a leak in the welding of a tank used to store pre-treated contaminated water. The tank is part of a system being tested to remove radioactive substances from tainted water. TEPCO workers found two holes and several small dents in the tank. They suspect the breaches were caused by seawater and a chemical to remove impurities. They suspect the breaches were caused by seawater and a chemical to remove impurities. The company will stop all three treatment systems using the tanks for about 90 days from the beginning of next month. The utility plans to cover the insides of all the tanks with rubber to prevent corrosion. The Fukushima plant sees 400 tons of contaminated water accumulate every day due to an inflow of groundwater. TEPCO plans to store the tainted water in other tanks while the treatment equipment is offline. TEPCO officials hope to put the system into full operation from next month, but they predict they'll have to delay the plan. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. Here's an unsettling image. For the last few days, steam has been rising from one of the reactors at the crippled nuclear power plant in Japan. As you might remember, that facility, the Fukushima Daiichi plant, was all but destroyed by an earthquake and tsunami. Two years later, the company that owns the plant is still struggling to control the damage. And to understand what's happening there, we're joined by NPR science correspondent Jeff Brumfield. Jeff, thanks for coming in. Thank you. So this steam, where's it coming from? Well, it's coming from the Unit 3 reactor, which is one of the three reactors that melted down at the plant. But nobody knows exactly where in Unit 3 it's coming from because the reactor is just too radioactive to get near. Now, there's a fear that it could be coming from inside the reactor vessel itself where the melted down fuel is and that some of that fuel is heating up again. Uh, maybe there's a hot spot. There's a small chance that the nuclear reactions could have restarted. Likely that might be happening? Or? No, no. It's very unlikely. Fortunately, TEPCO, the company that owns the plant, has been monitoring the reactor very closely, and all the indications are that this is not a result of any new nuclear reactions inside the reactor vessel. Their best guess is it's been rainy and humid in Fukushima, and they think that rain is falling onto the outside of the vessel that holds all this nuclear fuel. That outside is still hot. It's still 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that could be causing the rain to come up as steam. 
Okay, so it sounds like the steam may be not that dangerous a situation, but one concern is, has also been, Jeff, the groundwater possibly being contaminated around the plant. And the company comes out and says now for the first time, yes, that's happening. Right. For a long time now, it's been clear that there's been radiation still coming out of the plant into the Pacific Ocean. This plant is right on the coast, which is how it got struck by a tsunami. Uh, until now... TEPCO has claimed that this is a result of some residual radiation from the initial accident, but they drilled some test wells and they're now admitting that the groundwater around the plant is contaminated with radioactivity, and this is a big admission for the company. Okay, and, and how much of a risk does that pose to the public? I've been speaking uh, to some experts in Japan. Um, it's it's a little unclear at this point because the, the problem is that we don't know exactly how much there is and we don't know exactly where it's going. I mean, it's difficult to say. It's just soaked into the ground. What we do know is it probably is being dispersed out into the ocean, and while it's creating a local problem around the plant, and there's already a lot of radioactivity on the seabed there, um, it's unlikely to pose any sort of major risk at this stage. And I guess one question is, what is the company going to, to do about this groundwater problem? Well, I mean, there's a limited number of things it can do because obviously it can't, you know, the, there are broken pipes in the plant, the plant itself is damaged, and water is flowing into the plant all the time, partially to keep it cool, partially just groundwater flowing into the basement. So they can't really stop the water. What they can do is try and stop it from going in the ocean. So they're putting in some chemicals into the soil to try to harden it, make it less permeable to water. They're going to asphalt over the top of it to try and keep rainwater from getting in. Eventually, they're hoping to put a huge 30-foot deep steel wall into the ground that will literally serve as sort of a, a barrier for that water from getting into the sea. But that's going to take a year. That sounds like an elaborate process. And I guess, in a way, all this is a reminder that two years is not that long when it comes to, to recovering from a, a nuclear disaster like this. That's right. And, I mean, these are issues that TEPCO is going to be wrestling with for decades. Um, at Chernobyl, in many ways, a much more dangerous accident back in the 80s. Uh, that's um, they're still working out how to deal with the nuclear remnants of that accident, which are still radioactive. Jeff Brumfield, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. He's NPR science correspondent. When the mainstream press and the government says... Nobody could have predicted this. They're lying through their fucking teeth. The head of Japan's leading national association of fisheries has lodged a protest with TEPCO. The company recently revealed that contaminated groundwater at the Fukushima power plant has leaked into the sea. The organization's head, Hiroshi Kishi, visited Tokyo Electric Power Company headquarters. He handed a letter of protest to President Naomi Hirose. You must stop leaking contaminated water into the sea. We have repeatedly asked your company to do this, but you have ignored us. We feel betrayed. Kishi demanded that TEPCO state how it will contain tainted water accumulating in the complex. He also said the company must take immediate measures to stop the leakage. He also urged the company to increase monitoring for radioactive substances in waters near the plant. Hirose said he would work to comply with the requests. High concentrations of radioactive substances have been detected in monitoring wells near the shore since May. When the mainstream press and the government says nobody could have predicted this, they're lying through their fucking teeth. One of Japan's leading microbiologists is watching the reputation has built up crumble. Administrators at the University of Tokyo are demanding former professor Shigeaki Kato retract more than 40 papers. They found results were manipulated. The administrators received a tip from an outside source. They set up a committee to look into 165 theses written by Kato and his team. The papers cover topics such as bone formation and hormone activity. Committee members found images of experiment results were manipulated in at least 28 papers. In some cases, they say falsifications were made to make it appear tests have been carried out more than once. They suspect something similar happened in 15 other papers. Kato says he accepts the results of the investigation. He says he let his lab staff handle images, but he adds he's responsible for failing to notice something was wrong.
Kato was a professor at the University of Tokyo's Institute of Molecular and Cellular Biosciences. He has received about $30 million in research funding from the Education Ministry and other government organizations. For statistical purposes, we have seized all private data from your personal computer and we are disgusted with your recent internet search history. You sick fuck.